듣고 있죠. 응, 좀 놀면 그래. 볼까? 한번 또 그좀 나가 사람 나가. 나이 비빌리 사람 나가. 너 ngày ni. Nơi Russia ni cứ mê tư vi ca bia ca đầy Nơi thằng bầy cớm miên dạ bìl mùi màu Nơi bầy cho loài tốp tên nâng ca chùm tùa Nơi ni bẹp bòn tên nâng ai cơ xa Nơi khăn ông ạ đồng bộ Nơi khăn ông ổ bạc xâm bòn Ê mùi đó là ê pram Vẫn tới đời Ca bì bực mênh môn nâng Xâm rạ bì xa thay trống Ông dùm rẻ bàn xua tử phía kì Mediwi no muk dalam nang dalam dalam kerat bab ini dengan mediwi kapi kedai yang baik krom ompi k permal mul pansman pelilir samrap su samnu jempu jun cop cau nun cie terlu ang head wek mui parabot parabot pak kumanis kapi cie ni le ni ang jemah su ter mediwi no muk dalam nang dalam dalam kerat bab ini tata Hàng mê tử vi nâng trở ca phê vì liên phần mạng đá Bắt xung cổ rụp lục bật thiên Hàng mê tử vi nông mục trở ca dạp phê Giờ rộp chìm nguồn buôn màu Chú lục Hàng mê tử vi nôn chí Thà trở ca phê vì liên Phải hẹn bọn mạng đấy Mê tử vi Michael Passman Your Honor, I assume that we will not need more than one day One day maximum, probably less I was wondering whether I understood correctly that we will be allowed to question our client last after the other defenses there will be any defensive request to be allowed to go last. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mr. President. As of this moment, a decision has not been made as to whether any questions would be posed would be put to Nunchiel. However, if we did decide to put questions, we would, I would speculate that we would need no more than 45 minutes to an hour. But at this time, no decisions have been made. Now, we will have to wait for the decision to be made. Đói xa dương mình toàn đăng bì sạch thàn đập hiệp ai ớ Đói xa dương trời khăn cơm dương trời xua Cảm ơn đại nút Nhưng chẳng Rồi dạ bê nếu có mình ai cầm nọt Ở bàn chú bàn lọt đáy bàn tay Nhưng mà ai lực Sman Sman thà và hai chìa bì đọc bàm nhật tí Tâu mùi mong rư có Ai mình miên xùm nuốc nông cạn này đã Mình chụp Bẹp bòn Ở bây nâng cạn này đọc bò Khang Mê Tư Vi, Kha Pia Bò Chữ Nhi. Xem ạ, Kun. Kun. Xem chơi. I now realize that my answer may have been ambiguous. I said one day, I meant an entire day. So two half days. Just one half day. 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 Bà, ổ quân 
ແລະនេះអង្គចម្រះសូមផ្ដល់វិទ្យាទៅមេត្តាវីកាពីក្តីលោកនួនជាដើម្បីធ្វើការឆ្លើយតបជាសរុបទៅនឹងThank you, Ron. Good afternoon. I'll begin for our team. I don't expect that I'll take more than five, ten minutes. I need the balance of the time to my colleague, Major Sanarun. And if there is any time remaining, of course, we'd be happy to donate it to our friends down the line. I won't repeat the specific positions and arguments we've made all week. I will just make three brief points. Number one, with respect to our approach, it has been suggested that by our colleagues across the stage. We have spent far too much time this week discussing the weight and the probative value we attached but to the potential evidence in the case. That is opposed to strictly the mere admissibility of such materials. However, we submit that this week's discussion and debate as to how to handle, manage, and assess evidence once it's been admitted has been instructive and fruitful. And we submit that the general approach we articulated on Monday strikes an equitable balance among the various interests of the parties to this case. And indeed, it is consistent with Cambodian law, with common sense, and most importantly, with Nunchia's fundamental right to challenge the evidence presented against it. Naturally, of course, that latter issue is our paramount concern. Second point goes to the volume and the nature of the documents submitted to date by the co-prosecutors. And on that point, again, we rest on the submissions my colleague made this morning, We do know now that precisely what is not needed in this case, what is not needed is a detailed historical tour of democratic Kampuchea. We acknowledge the international co-prosecutor's comments this morning regarding his sewing kit. We're quite familiar with those needles. We've been handling them for four years, and indeed our, our hands are well scarred. However, we do submit we do submit that what is needed in these proceedings are far fewer needles and much more threat. The threat, of course, of this first mini-trial is the alleged evacuation of Phnom Penh and the subsequent population transfer from the south of the country to the north in 1975 and 1976. According to this chamber's decision to sever the case, little else is now relevant. And again, according to that decision to sever, this chamber and the parties should adhere closely, strictly, and rigorously to that central threat. Our client, Munchia, has already discussed his position with respect to the evacuation of Phnom Penh. He will, as we stated, in due course, discuss with equal candor his role with respect to the second phase of the evacuation of the population transfer. Pardon me. We do submit that the co-prosecutors need do little else in this case from establishing that Nguyen actions with respect to those two discrete issues were not justified under international law. And again, that, that is the threat of this case. Today, none of the documents presented appear to be of any relevance to this central question. And in this regard, I would just note that the photographs of Lenin and Stalin are no more relevant in the recordings of Lenin and McCartney. Accordingly, we urge the Chamber to strictly limit the number of documents admitted to those who are of precise relevance, precise relevance to the limited issues at stake in this trial, this first mini-trial. And finally, a few more words about Mr. Yu Cheng. We have submitted previously and publicly that the Khmer Rouge trial without the participation of Nordan Sihanouk would be unthinkable. Today, we now submit that that same sentiment applies to Mr. Yuk Chang. Without his personal efforts, there simply would never have been an ECCC. Yuk Chang is quite simply the best man for the job 
coming into court and discussing the DC CAM documents. We therefore urge the chamber to hear him as a witness. I we equally urge him to grace us with his presence. That's all I have. Thank you. 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 សូមគ្រប់លោកវិធីនសាយថ្មីខ្ញុំមានប្រហែលជាដប់នាទីដែរមិនមុននឹងនឹងខ្ញុំថ្លែងនៅសេចក្តី <coughs> Nay tung bát đi vọt nung tung yu vệ chun yu vệ nari tai tai pano sân mân ban sâm sna sâm tơ tơ la ca sâm đã chun ai ga sa tang pond ng pond nô tê doi bring the hap bring yang mê bì ga pi ban yi lang mân mìn binh jang đi tê pi ai gim nai ai ga sa mô gim nôn đai kim ban rib rob bim sâm minh tang off đập bâm pil ai ga sa sot tai mân chuba đèo bị ba án rư án mình dốt tại khi xong ao bên trang slide tại pi chỉ ở ti ho tại phần nọ tại nó đọc một phần miền đọc phần đây mới một số bài này khi xong mình to công mệt vì cà phê nôn chia dù khi nấu tai đã xa chùm ho ao bằng hai ai xa đầm đầm bay bị phe xa ពីយថាភាពរបស់អាកសារការធ្វើបែបនេះមិនមែនជាការពញ្ញាពីលសាមណាការនោះទេតែផ្ទុយទៅវិញគឺដើម្បីស្វែងរកការពិតយុទ្
không niêm khiếm chia hạ mê thị vi rồi bỏ nôn chí Khiếm xôm tờ là cả Tiếng mù lũ Thưa dàng nà ôi ca cắt cái đây Mê đăng nôm cảm bà chìa bà chìa thư bà tay Bà cọp đòi cả tệ dứt Dứt tí thó nâng miên bà giáo Đòi mê thị vi khiếm bạc sáng xong Tí mùi Giả hạ bà rí nhà nhà Trâu tay xong an nâu Giả khai cam tiếng ốc Xong tù Nâu sẽ khai cam Nà mùi đại lúc nôn chìa Quật đầm rấu Đầm bay dùng một tòa tùl Bà cọp đòi dạ tha phiếp Đàm bay ở miền bà giọt Pì Sra xong cho krom trâu tài thuốc ca Pì chà rà ná Nâng xâm rách đòi dù đi thố Ai tự tuôn dục bàn Đàm bay ở miền bà giọt Đòi bà bà sạc khmai Pì pì lì nì Nâng tư ả nà cốt Xâm rách bà chì chôn khmai Chùm nôn khói Bà cọp đòi dù đi thố Nâng cùm rù Đòi bì phô lô Phọt đài Hỏi chà rà chào Nâu ca chọt bà kèn nà mùi đại lực miền phật tang chi lì lẽ ác so chi sầm não đam đại lực miền vị cà pì prom tang chun tơ chảo bản sanh sầm tơ tơ lạc ca nương bệ nhã ruồi hải sầm ác côn ác côn chi bản to hoàng gia phật đạo vị tỳ ca tử miền vị cà pì cái đây lục yên giới sầm chơi Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honors, and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. I would like to begin this afternoon by picking up where the civil party left off. She accused us of being absurd in abusing the process. I find her characterization of what we have been attempting to do insulting and unwarranted. Let's step back and ask ourselves, why are we here? And how did we get here? It was the prosecution that had suggested that a hearing be held at some point. And this suggestion came prior to our break. Then on December 23rd, the prosecution sent us a courtesy copy, a courtesy copy of its 92 Submission regarding the admissibility and reliability of 978 documents. Why they waited? Everybody was out of town two days before Christmas. Who knows? But nonetheless, they did provide us with a rather comprehensive document, which spells out at least what they believe is. In this year, what they believe, they don't connect all the dots. But what we did see on the 17th of, of January, we did see a demonstration by the prosecution where they took several documents and they were demonstrating how the documents are interconnected and how one can view that. And let me be uh, up front about it. We are grateful to the prosecution for having shared with us their methodology how, how they're going to go about in demonstrating that the documents are authentic, reliable, and relevant. Our principal objection, our principal objection, if I can uh, say that uh, with some confidence, is that the prosecution wants everything admitted now. Admitted, weighed at the end. After you've had an opportunity to hear some evidence, it matters not whether all of the documents will be shown to witnesses. It matters not whether we will be able to connect the dots or establish foundation for all of the documents because it's in the uh, case file, and because now it's in, in, in from, from the case file into the, uh, the closing order, it's all fair game. There's no need for you to do anything at this stage. Fair enough, that's the position. Where I take exception with the prosecution, however, is where they say this is the international practice. 
Now, I, I will agree that there are some certain international standards on the admissibility of evidence, how one goes about in determining whether evidence is reliable, relevant, authentic, or what have you. But when we're talking about the practice, it was the prosecution, not the defense, that raised the privilege case. It is the prosecution that I'm inviting you to look at that particular case. And having spent five years trying that case, I will take some time to make some uh, remarks on the case and also to go through a series of decisions so you will see how the practice was in that case, keeping in mind that I am very mindful of the fact that we are in a different procedure here. We have the French system that has been somewhat modified for these extraordinary chambers, and so it is different. It is not adversarial party-driven, but nonetheless, it is the prosecution that are claiming that this is the practice. And by that, the prosecution is suggesting that all they need to do is give you, provide you with a list of documents and it automatically comes in. And then it comes out only if there's some showing that the documents are not relevant or reliable. And let me be clear. Admission of a document is not necessary to show a document and to put a document before a witness. So I want to be clear on that. We're not suggesting, never have, never will, that a document has to actually be admitted. That is that you have to establish the authenticity before you can even show it to a, to a witness, to elicit testimony. In fact, Sometimes it's, almost, it's just as important to, sh to show it to a witness in order to establish the authenticity, reliability, and relevance. So we have never claimed and never suggested and never argued that one has to establish authenticity before they can actually show it to the witness. I hope that point is clear. We, uh, we take exception to the prosecution's yeah, position, yeah, and this is something that we, uh, we believe we are entitled to, and we mentioned this earlier, based on a decision that was made by the pre-trial chamber, that it said on paragraph 34 of a decision on the admissibility of the inquiry appeal against the OCIJ constructive denial of inquiry request concerning the OCIJ's identification and reliance on evidence obtained through torture. D-130, stroke 7, stroke 3, stroke 5, paragraph 34. It's a decision of K-Men on 10 May 2010. The pre-trial chamber further observed that the internal rule 87 also gives the charged person the possibility to object to the admissibility of evidence during the trial. So we're not being absurd and we're not abusing the process. We were invited to this hearing and we are participating. And as, as we can see from the pre-trial chamber's interpretation of the rules, we are entitled to challenge admissibility before, before the evidence actually uh, gets, uh, is admitted. So let me look at, let's look at the Perlitz case a little bit. And by the way, Your Honor, just so you have an inkling, just so you have an inkling in that case, I did, we did a cursory review just to pick out some of the more important decisions. There were well over 60 decisions that, that uh, we readily found. I would suggest a memory closer to 100 actual decisions on admissibility of evidence. Now, why was that? Because of the process that was put in place, and it wasn't by happenstance. The parties were initially invited on March 15th to comment on draft guidelines that the trial chamber had proposed 
then issued a decision adopting the guidelines. And there were general in nature. This was to assist the parties as to how time would be allocated, the questioning of the witnesses, and so on and so forth. This was a time management tool. On 28 April 2006, it issued a revised version of the decision adopting guidelines on conduct of trial proceedings. And in that particular uh, decision, the concept of parties submitting dossier to the trial was raised. And by that, the trial chamber was inviting the parties to submit dossiers concerning uh, various parts of the indictment. So, for instance, if there was a particular uh, crime that had occurred in a particular place at a particular time, the parties could certainly propose a dossier with all of the documents. And on paragraph 11 of this decision, just to give you a flavor, Your Honors, it said, should the prosecution or the defense wish to provide the chamber with a dossier relating to a particular geographic location in the indictment where crimes are alleged to have been committed, it may do so. A list of proposed items to be included in the dossier may be submitted at any time during the trial. However, these proposed items will be subject to the normal procedure for admission of evidence. Therefore, in order to ensure that the dossier only contains items admitted as evidence, it should not include proposed witness evidence or exhibits until after the evidence has been tendered and admitted by the chamber. That's something important, and we'll get to it in a moment, for you to appreciate the procedure that was used. And I apologize for taking this time to litigate and go over what was done in another case, but for illustrative purposes. It was a very large case, not too somewhat similar in size with this case. On 13 July 2006, the trial chamber issued a decision on admission of evidence. In this particular decision on page 2, it notes that it was seized of, quote, prosecution submission on the admission of documentary evidence motion filed by the Office of the Prosecution on 15 June 2006, in which the prosecution requests the chamber to admit various documents from the European Community Monitoring Mission, the ECMM, into evidence. So there was a mission on the ground that had gathered evidence, and now the prosecution was attempting to admit all of it on the basis primarily that it came from a particular institution. In this particular decision, the trial chamber indicated various things. I won't belabor all of them, but I do invite the trial chamber to look at this particular decision and we can provide them uh, to your honors. Uh, if that would be more convenient. But what, is, what, what I believe is relevant, on page 6, for instance, it, it notes, whereas, whereas in the instant case, the appeal chamber noted the importance of Rule 90F and held that the trial chamber has broad discretionary powers to enforce the rule, very similar to what you have. 
Whereas, additionally, the appeals chamber further recognized the legitimate purpose of ensuring that the proceedings are not unduly delayed and that the trial is completed in a reasonable time, just as you have noted. Whereas the list of exhibits submitted by the prosecution pursuant to Rule 65 Ter of the rules already contained 9,490 exhibits. Whereas it appears the prosecution seeks to tender most of this documentary evidence without prior discussion in court. I'm pausing to, so we can fully appreciate what was attempted to be done in that case. Without, without prior discussion in court, that's what they were trying to do. By discussion, they meant putting it, putting it before a witness. Whereas, the admission of several thousand documents Without prior discussion over, over them in court, may, undo, un, may unduly delay the proceedings to the extent that the chamber would not have the benefit of explanations from a witness who could help to put these documents in their context and establish their relevance and probative value. Whereas, the Chamber would therefore be required to spend much of its resources examining and assessing thousands of documents, which could take several months and would delay the pronouncement of the judgment. I'll skip one of the whereas, and then it goes on, whereas the defense could be disadvantaged if it were forced to use the limited time allocated for its cross-examination to present and dis discuss a trial for the first time prosecution documents of which it challenges the reliability of probative value. Whereas, the prosecution therefore has a duty to make a choice and identify those documents which are strictly necessary for the determination of points in issue and present those, those documents to a witness who is able to provide the chamber information in court about the authenticity, relevance, and probative value of such documents. And then it talks about the interest of justice, and, there, and then it says, hereby refers to a ruling and request that the documents can come in through witness Christopher Bees, who indeed came and testified. In other words, rather than trying to have all these documents come in without anybody and without the benefit of how they were generated in which manner, the trial chamber wished to have a particular witness come, one or more, to give evidence. Attached to this decision, attached to this decision, is something that's ter was ter that became terribly important for the rest of the trial. Guidelines for the admission of evidence. So, the decision, they provided guidelines. This was a case that was scheduled to take two years and it took five years to try. Guideline number six. And this is the guide, these are the guidelines for the prosecution. They would later, and we'll go through them, uh, issue guidelines for the defense, which, were, which mirrored with some slight differences. But guideline number six deals with the issue that we're dealing here today. Subject to the following conditions. The prosecution may, after the testimony of a witness and within eight days of his or her appearance before the chamber, request the chamber by way of written notice to admit documents which were not put before the witness in court and in which the witness could have testified. In other words, with each witness, 
you might have a certain amount of documents that you wanted to present to that witness. Because of time constraints, you could only go through maybe one third of those documents. The other documents, you could move to have admitted by way of motion, having demonstrated certain criteria, such as reference to the relevant paragraph in the indictment, reference to the witness and documents dealing with the same paragraph in the indictment, reasons why the document was not presented to the witness, reasons why the document could not be presented to another witness. So in other words, if there is another witness that you can get this document in, then it's your obligation to do so through that witness. The reasons the party the document Now I should know. I should know, Your Honor. That at the conclusion of the prosecution's case, just at the conclusion of the defense case, because there were six accused. The parties were afforded the opportunity to then move for the admission of thousands of documents that they thought were relevant but could not be admitted through any particular witness. Both sides attempted to introduce thousands of documents, hundreds if not thousands were accepted, thousands were rejected. So let me, let me explain the process then, because they're talking about the practice. This is the practice, not to have everything admitted and then screened, but rather, as you go along, you put it to the witness. Some documents you may not be able to get through witnesses, so you can then move to have those documents admitted based on the testimony, the foundation that that witness had laid. Of course, if you could put it through another witness, yeah, you were encouraged to do so. If at the end of, your wit of, the w of the witnesses in this particular area, let's say the historical background, you had 1,000 or 500 documents that you could not put to the witnesses because they were either not selected or you didn't have the time, you would then move for the admission of those documents. The benefit, of course, for the trial chamber was that they had heard certain evidence, certain foundation, and from there they could make a determination. But they did not stop just there. At the end of your case, you could still move for the admission of documents because by that point, the trial chamber had much more historical context as to the importance of the documents. And of course, relevance and weight was always going to be uh, something to be decided by the, the trial chamber at the conclusion. Another document that it may be worth noting, Your Honors, is on 13 December 2006, decision on the admission into record of documents presented at the hearing. And here, the trial chamber lays out some modalities, as I was talking, as I was earlier saying. You have to pose the, the documents to the witness. At the conclusion, once the witness left, the parties were obligated to actually make a filing, a filing of the documents they wished to have admitted, so that there would be a filed record. The parties, the, uh, the opposing parties had one day to object, there was an opportunity to reply, and then there was a reason, decision uh, concerning why documents were admitted or denied. That was the process. So when we're talking about practices, this was the practice in purpose. As I said, at some point, the defense was given, an uh, given guidelines. This was in 24 April 2008. And I'm merely mentioning it, uh, so your honors can look at this if you wish. I want to share also uh, one decision that was made on 3 November 2009. This was an appeal that we had lodged on behalf of Dr. Yadranko Perlich when the trial chamber failed to admit, refused to admit certain evidence which we felt uh, should have been admitted. In this decision, 
which overturned the trial chamber's decision, which was a pretty high hurdle to, to overcome. The appeals chamber found that the standard used by the trial chamber in this particular instance with these, sort, with these documents that we were attempting to present, the standard was a higher one. In other words, the trial chamber was employing a double standard, lower standard for the prosecution, higher for the defense. I point this out merely for illustrative purposes. There was no automatic admission. You have to fight for the admission of documents. I'm not suggesting that it has to be something uh, beyond uh, what is called for by the rules. But I am suggesting that it was not an automatic admission to everything and then sort it out later on, especially in a case where it's heavily document-oriented. So much for Perlich. Our position, Your Honors, has been pretty much consistent throughout. Throughout. We have maintained that before admitting a piece of evidence, the, pro the prosecution has to provide some indicia. We have seen that they're capable of doing that. We're seeing so far that they're capable of showing and sharing with us how they intend to connect the dots for all of us. We suggest that they be required to do so uh, as the trial progresses. We do, do not agree with this notion that you should accept everything. If the trial chamber is of the opinion that because of the unique nature of this particular tribunal, it can admit all of the evidence on the sheer testimony of the prosecution, and I do call it testimony because it wasn't just descriptive. Here is a logo, here is a date, and how, look how these two documents look alike. There was also commentary, and it's the commentary that I object to. The commentary is what gives the spin, as it were, as it will, to, to demonstrate the, the, uh, the authenticity or the reliability of the document. That's argument. They're entitled to do that, but not at this stage. We suggest that the better approach is put documents to the witness. The witness can agree or disagree that he wishes to testify or acknowledge the document. They can then move for the admission after you've heard the evidence. We could do that at the end of each phase. We can do that at the end of each witness. There are many ways of doing it. But we submit just accepting wholesale documents uh, is not the way to do it, especially given that we have a limited amount of time, a limited amount of witnesses that will be coming in, and more likely than not, and I dare the prosecution, and I, I, indeed I challenge them to correct me if I'm wrong, that they will not be able, we will not be able to hear sufficient uh, amount of witnesses to cover all of the sorts of documents that they have presented. Yes, for blocks of documents, they will be able to establish the authenticity and reliability. But when it comes to newspaper articles, where they talk where somebody is, say, uh, is, is claimed to have given a statement and is paraphrased, or even when it's quoted and, the, and there's no opportunity to confront, we believe that you need to be very skeptical, and, all, and if you admit that, that uh, sort of document, and the parties have not, had, have not had an opportunity to comment on it, that you give little or no way to it. Which brings me to my other point, because there was a case mentioned by one of the gentlemen for the civil parties when they raised, they talked about the Halilovich case. I must admit, <clears throat> I was a little bit taken aback when it was referenced, because I was familiar with that case, I'm very familiar with the case, and I'm familiar with the circumstances and the decision. <clears throat> and this may be a good opportunity to, to highlight why we believe statements that are in newspapers are not necessarily reliable, and because there's no way of testing the reliability, 
simply by looking at it, more indicia will be required. And if that indicia is not available, <clears throat> that perhaps the better approach is to, dis to ignore that piece of evidence and not have it admitted and clutter cluttering up the, uh, the file. In Halilovich, the issue that was on appeal was that the trial chamber, by way of motion from the prosecution over the bar, as they say, or from the bar table, admitted several statements, confession statements that had been provided to the, uh, the office of the prosecution by Mr. Halilovich. Halilovich. One can only assume that Mr. Halilovich did not testify, no, and that's why they wanted to bring in his statements. The defense objected, and they objected primarily on one ground, which was that at the time that he had given many of these statements, the prosecution had essentially induced him to waive his right of silence and give a statement by telling him that his cooperation would lead to his provisional release, something that the prosecution, first of all, cannot promise because it's not up to the prosecution. Now, perhaps there was a misunderstanding. Perhaps it was, we will put in a good word for you that you're cooperating, but needless to say, that's how it was interpreted. And in this instance, the appeals chamber found that the trial chamber had erred by admitting those statements into the record. And they were never considered by the trier of fact. Granted, we are dealing with a different system. But for illustrative purposes, for illustrative purposes, I'm demonstrating or I'm attempting to demonstrate to the trial chamber that there is no such automatic rule that all of the evidence is admitted. And I believe that even Mr. Bill Smith will agree with me on that. Over the last four, four days, we have sufficiently stayed out our position. Yes, we have been repetitive at times because we're dealing with uh, arguments that are relatively the same when it comes to groups of documents. We have laid out what we believe is the procedure that the court should adopt or at least consider. We believe that these hearings in the last four days were extremely useful. We don't think that we have used the process or anyone for that matter abused the process. And the inquiry defense would like to thank the, the trial chamber for allowing us this opportunity to be heard in public on these issues. Thank you very much. ជាបន្តអង្គមេសសុំផ្ដល់ពិធីការទៅក្រុមវិទ្យាវិទ្យាកម្ពុជាក្តីលោកគឺសំផនសំជើញសំអរគុណលោកបធានសំគ្រប់
cứ tha khiếm mình chụp to tha mình ao vô ai cả sao nữa mà đặt bình chôn được nông sầm nông rừng sơn sơn pì tê còn ta khiếm bàn lướt ca an sinh đòi mình chạy thả vì tiêm tí ao miền ca trút bị nứt môn nâng vô chia phọc tàng à chặt tục thả chịu bàn ca nữa tới đây khi mà xung mình chạy từ lời chủng hồ robot metivikapi chủng pua sơ chân nạc cò nếp hiệp chữ chạy đại ban phát đo đòi karya lấy xã bì ảnh nhá cứ tha bùm ban cực cọn tì Sở hạ bìa nhá bàn bằng hành thà Bờ Dương chóng đẳng bì phiếp chư chạy Từ lời ai cả xá Xong ai phía ký Chị bì xe mê thị vi cà bìa Từ bì nứt Mơ Ốp bạc xâm bòn Đài Sạ bí ảnh nhà bàn lực làng thà Miên bò đầm miên bức xa đà Nước nông nụ hào ý Khiêm xông lực thà Bà sân chìa Nước nông ốp bạc xâm bòn Đội dương bàn phía xa nông sạp bà đà ní Cứ miên bàm ốp bạc xâm bòn rồi hào ý nông Miên bò đầm miên lùm ất Bức xa đà tiếng xa rong hào ý nông Sở hạ bí ảnh nhà, bỏ hai chìa Mình chăm bạch Bóng hai anh bì sôi cho nạ cò Nên phiếp chữ chìa Từ lời ai cả xa tiếng nụ tì Hai cò Bỏ hai dương mình chăm bạch Chăm nãi bê vỉ lìa Khi đông xạ văn à ca Mùi xạ văn à ca lòng đi đài Đói lấy chùm bùa Mê thiêu vị đã mật đăng rạp về ní Bàn lực Xâm nê mùi bẩn toát rộ bò À bì khăn ông xìu phơi rộ bò Lúc khiêu xâm phón Ông bì ai cả xa đại bảo mô bàn Bì mệt chạm mần đồ ai cả xa cam bụi chìa Đi xì khém Đại thà đại bảo hành thà Lúc khiêu xâm phón Bàn tổ tù sổ Nếu ai cả xa tiếng nụ Nếu bên ích chẳng bát xôm Chẳng riêng chung cơm bạc xa Chẳng đông chẳng riêng Nếu ở vấy đầy lô khí xâm phón Bạn chẳng riêng chung Sẽ hạ cháy cơm sơ bằng kết Lô bán chẳng riêng thả vì miễn rút tất cả hai Cá bì môn Nâu cá khlai khlai Chúng tôi Ai cả xa Đã chênh bì mệt chết Mình đô ai cả xa Cảm bởi chiến hồn Đối chí ní Nhâm xôm Tổ tụi Mê thiêu vi Đã mình đăng rộp bảo vệ ní Nâng bí ảnh nhá Nâng xa bí ảnh nhá Mê ta bị nứt từ lơ Cầm lọt hạt rộp bỏ lục khiêu xâm phón tiền sông Prôn tiền bị nứt từ lơ át tập bọt xinh xinh Đại dương bàn đã chùn phong đài Khiêm xôm bằng hai nơi chùm hồ Ở ban chấp ba Chùn cồm bạc xa chùm nông chùm rẻ thà Dương mình đã bạc đề xa 
ai cả sa tiếng oh robot mà chết mình đồ ai cả sa cam bồ chiên nuôi tê tấm tài dương ban sna sôm chỉ nhức nhọp đo cầm bạc sa chun nôm chun rẻ mi ta bị nứt đo vô chết tốc đã nâng chết lẽ từ lơ ai cả sa rồi bỏ mà chết mình đồ ai cả sa campuchia khang ai chả cả bàn khang sa bia nhả bàn sna tới chả cầm thà dương ban lực sẽ đưa chúng ta thăm mây đại gia chạc rộng mình ban ảnh nhạc nông bình môn Vì thầy tăng bì thông ngay ẩn kia máu đôi cổng phật xa chúng ta chúng ta ban chí điệp xa hỏi dương khí nhóm ban trâm tài chạy lại tốt tư nâng tầm rơi nây phiếp chưa chạy bàn đại gia bà rìa nhà bàn phát đo một nông cọp khăn nây ai cả xa y mươi rồi hà sắp bằng bấy đã chỉ ai cả xa lúc chạy cọm bàn ảnh nhạc 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 xa bây giờ bàn thua lăng tam bảo phê ai cả xa xinh xinh nước nông กรอบคันในไอกาซาอีมรอยฮาสับบงใบนุ้งฮายิงขี้อมกอดเฟื่อจำนัดทนายไอกาซานุ้งตามนุ้งได้ปนใต้เอาไว้แต่ยิงไอเฟื่อบานุ้งคือยิงเฟื่อกาบีเพียซ่าจีตูเตอร์เลอประเภทไอกาซาจมวยนึงอุติฮอมวยจมนุ่นได้ยิงบานเลือกจีตูเตอร์อมปีกาโยเคนรบบอเมตุวีกาเปียก็ปนตายกาบิเพียซาจีเลียขณะตูเตอร์เนี่ยมันเมนจีบมนองปรัชนาหรือว่าเมตุพิกาปียังตีปีปลัวโดยยังบานจุ่มเรียบจูนกรมปรัชนาจุนนองจุ่มเรียก็ลองมาให้ทาขางเมตุพิกาปีสนาส้มอเมียนกาปีเพียซาดังดาวตุเลอไอกาซาเจเลีย cứ tha dương trong ban thì nứt từ lời ai cả xa này mui này mui thì pro tha ai cả xa này mui này mui chui đò ca xoay rô ca bớt hai dương từng ốc nía có trong đăng bị ca bớt nụ đài สหปริยาหนึ่งดาวมันหนึ่งเมตุวีดาวมันดังรอดมาไว้นี้จังอ้อยกรมประสาทจุดนมจุดเรียกชื่อท่ายืงบานจันเจ้าไอกาซาเตียงดอลไอกาซาเตียงอ๋อแต่นี่มันเมนเชี่ยจุ่มโฮโรบอเมตุวีกาปียึดยมตี còn tại ở vậy đại dương khi nhóm tràn trao chẳng sống luôn cứ chỉ ca tranh được cô ca đã tha ai cả xa tiền lai na đại mình miên ca chủng tỏ cứ tới tổ tôi giúp đòi miên ca tiền tuột tiệt lời ní chia chủng nội đại mê thì vì ca pia xong chủng tỏ tiền sống พิพรธาพิรกิจรบบ
อังจมน้มจมเรียคือเตยปิดนิดตะเลอไอกสารในมือในมุ้ยได้เพียกี้ดักบังหันเนยจมปูหมกหลุนตัวจีมีนกาจมตัวหรือขมีนกาจมตัวก็ได้ยิ่งยิ่งบาดสมเลิกเปียปิดดามิ่งจังดาวจะกรอมเสียงในตลาดกาไอซีทีไว้นึกน้องเลี้ยงขณะในสมนมเรื่องทอมเทงโดยสถานะเพียบในสมนมเรื่องยืนนี้คือขนมกะระในเรียญาตัวหนึ่งมิลานเมติกมิลานเมติกสอสเซอมไอเอลเอเอนเมติกอมเอโอทีไอซีได้เชื่อสิ่งใดสำหรับอานุมัติตัวเลือโกลกาในน้อมสเตปีบอดทานสำหรับกรุบกรงกาตัวตัวยกพอต่างเจ้าทั้งไอตีดอกประมุ่นไข่แม่กระชนะปีปอนประมุ่ยตรังเวียจักรคันดอกมุ่ยกระทาคันดอกมุ่ยชิมสมอันยัดอันจีพิสังเลยปีพรัววิจิสมเดดามสมดอกสอง The dry chamber is องจุมดุมจุมเรียสลาดมบุ Person to the statute of the tribunal ลองตัวตามและคันติกะในองจุมดุมจุมเรียนี้ The guardian and guarantor of the โกลกาแนนอมหนึ่งกาทินี้ Procedural and substantive right of the accused นิเตวิธีก็โดยจิตสิทธิ์เชี่ยสารวันรบชนจอบเจ้า The dry chamber considers that องจุมดุมจุมเรียสลาดมบุปิจารณาเคยท่า Questions of admissibility of evidence do not arise only when one of the party raises an objection to a piece of evidence sought to be brought forward by the other party. The trial chamber has an inherent right and duty. Right and duty. Mean sit nung katapagay to ensure that only evidence which qualify for admission under the rule will be admitted. Kung hindi ay tutulog mukto ji po tang ba ano lang to tang bitin ni. Mas. Sumakun sumpat. Sumrong pa niya. Dito na. Tam klam sa ni. Wichi kang ni robo ang jum nom jum rea. ได้ตรวจนัดเลยไอกสารในมือในมือจีกาจุ่มโตได้เพียกีทเวลาคือมีนบ่มน้องช่วยดอลอ้องจุ่มนมจุ่มเรียกนงกาบ่มปิ้งกางเงี้ยระบอกขลุ่นกาไปเพียสาจิตตูเตอร์ตัวเลยไอกสารได้ยื่นเคยถากโกดุยพนมนี้มันอาช่วยดอลอ้องจุ่มนมจุ่มเรียกบานจานเลยโดยยังบานเคยสับหายต่ำร้อยในเพียบชื่อเจียบานได้สหปริยาบานดอนบอกนี้มันกรุบกรอนเตียงปริมาณหนึ่งกุลเพียบดอนใบช่วยดอนองจุ่มนมจุ่มเรียขนมกาปิ่นนัดไอกษาสหปริยาเตยเชื่อเรื่อมัดเชียวใบนามุยถ้าตาเตยบนโตส้มเอาบังฮันจุนอังจุนนุ่มจุนเรียนูไอกษารอปอนดอกได้ดอกได้นี้หนึ่งดอกต่ำร้อยอ่อยบานจานจึงนี้กู้ต่ำร้อยกู้ต่ำร้อยได้หล่อปรสาจึงนี้สำหรับไอกษาในมวยในมวยหรือก่อก
ัดบันทอยจำนวนไอกาซาเจนปีบัญชีจำนวนนี้ขยมบานสดับการเรียบรอบรบเมทวีดามันดังรับเวนีทาไอกาซาได้บานดักจุนตุลากามันเมนสุดตายบานกาเตียงอ่อนหนุ่ยหายก็มันเมนทามันบานกาเตียงอ่อนได้ดังนั้นนี่วิจัยจิตคลำซามุ่ยเดอไอบังฮันเคยทาไอกาซาได้ดักดอยสหประชาชนอาจมีไอ้กระสาวมุ่ยจุ่มนุ่นนานุยุคจีการเหมือนบ้านดอยสาขวะพิบชื่อเจี๊ยในไอ้กระสานี่บ้านโดยชนะเมนบ่ายเย็นนอนเตียงออกเนียนนอนคนนี้พิบเพียซาแต่เลยไอ้กระสาวเดาผมมีนคุณสมบัติสำหรับฟื้นสำหรับบังฮันกาเปิดเวียทัวร์อายุขาดไปยังจังกากัดบันทอยในไอกาซาได้เหมือนจำบัตได้เหมือนเปียปอนจะดำนี้วิจิประโยชน์มวยสำหรับเอายืนบานจำนายเปรียบเลี่ยงปอนตายเขียวบานลือสหประชาชาถ้าโดยจะสนาสมเอาบันเทียบแลกขันได้ดำเรือเอาตัวตัวโยกไอกาซาโนตัววิ่งดาวซาตาไอกาซาเมียนจุ่มดวงจราจรได้ตรวจเป็นเด็ดนู้บาเซนเชียเยอะเป็นเน็ตไอกาซาได้เมียนจุ่มดวงจราจรขนมเละคันมุ้ยปุ๊บทั่วไอกาเป็นเน็ตไอกาซาโนยูจังกาสนาสมเอาบันทิบเนื้อกับรัฐในการตัวตัวบ้านเนื้อไอกาซาในการตัวตัวโยกบ้านเนื้อไอกาซาเวียมันไอเทอร์บ้านที่ไปปลุกกับรัฐนู้เวียเทอร์บ้านกับนอตจีอาปะปาริมารุตะไฮเขียวมาที่หอขนมกะดีโดยหลายมุ้ยขนมขนมกาบังฮันพอตังในยืนในยี่อังปีกาบังฮันอ่อยเลือกปีวิมเตสังสายโดยคนนี้ได้เวียเชียกับรัฐมุ้ยแต่บ้านกับนอตด้วยเฮ้ยยืนมันไอท่าโดยซาไอกับซาจันหรือโดยซามินจุนจบจับจันยังมันไปบังฮันพอตังอ่อยเลือกปีวิมเตสังสายนู่นเต้ด้วยคือนึกได้คือท่าเพียบจำบัตรในกาบังฮันจมพัวไอกาซาถึงหลายได้จับเปียปอนหรือได้ทัวร์เอาชื่อเจ้าท่าจีไอกาซามีประโยชน์สำหรับสมัยโรคาเปนุวิจิกรมรัฐมุ่ยได้สหประชาชนกู้แต่บังฮันดำไปจุนปังสาวนากาดินดาวตัวเลือกไอ้กระซาเตียงนู่นจังตรวจลอบมาวิ่งบาสันเชียสหประชาชนโยธาไอ้กระซาเมียนจานเป็กคือมันเตยได้ไอ้กระซาได้ปุ่มเมียนประโยชน์โจลนขนมสมนมรุนิเตะมาย้ายเทียบกาชื่อเจ้าโรบอตลากาก็อาศัยตัวเลือกไอกาซาถึงอ่อนนุ่ยได้จุ่มปูสกัดสันนิษฐานเลือกการพิพิธาจิเลกันนักตูเตอร์เลือกอปัสสุมปอนเตียงปรามดมโบนี้ไอกาซาโรบอสหาปริญญาขนมจุ่มน้ำอบปะสมปอนอย่างอ๋อมีนจุ่มนุ่นมาพายมุ้ย
คือทาบ่มีนการเงียจรนะคือจีการเงียโกดพนมรบองจุมนมจุมเรียโครงการเพียงตัวเพียบตัวตัวยกบานในไอกาซาในมุ่ยในมุ้ยดำเนินไอกาซาจำนวนมือป้อนมือร้อยดับบุญอาสมโตมือป้อนมือร้อยสามสบุญขนมจำนวนไอกาซาสลบจำนวนบุญป้อนปรำปีร้อยหกสับปรำใบไอกาซาจีจังกรอยขยมส้มเลือกในจุมโฮในกาปะเดซัดรบบยืนขยมทายืนมันปะเดซัดจมพัวไอกระซาเตียงดอลไอกระซาเตียงอ่อนนุตีกับปนใต้ยืนปะเดซัดจมพัวโกกาดาธาไอกระซาเตียงหลายดาลมันเมียนกาจมตัวกูเตยตัวตัวยกดอยขมียนกาเพียงตัวเซนเตียนสมอกุล và s m ọ quân l ú m ì n h tôi v i đây là nơi cách tâm nợ cả phía phía xa đỉnh đầu lưỡi cả xa nắng k h ơ n thà bàn đầu ti bình chọc một p h lia để bàn cùng tục hay một lần gặp ạ cách tâm nợ cả s m nợ cả t h m rập ngày ni ห้องยมเรียสมยมเรียบจูนลำนังดอลเพียกีในเรื่องก็ได้บานชีเรียบท้าขอปีกาลิเพียนังกากำนัดปีเวลีสำหรับดำนาคาพิเพษาดังดาวเลือสะใสจำนวนปีรูปได้ห้องยมเรียกรุงเพื่อในขนมสัปดาห์กร้อยจะปิดไงตีมาเผยใบดาวไงตีมาเผยปมุ่ยใครไม่กระไรชนะปีปอนดอปีห้องยมเรียบานจัดตั้งมันตรายฉบับจวนขั้วเออเพื่อการดิบจอมในอีเมลจุนดมนังตัวผิดขี้ดิฉันในกายการนี้มันตรายฉบับจวนขั้วบันดิบจอมหนึ่งมันจุนได้เฮยดิฉันเนี่ยดังไปบันดิบฉบับสมผิดขี้ปีนัดมืออีเมลบอกอีเมลบอกล้วนดังไปบันดิบตัวปอดเมียนดังปีการผิดขี้ในการจำนวนการสำนักการสำหรับสำนักกรอยสมเจริง Thank you very much. s o m e o n I just wanted to follow up on the request we made last week. t h e young man who g a l l o p e d after the remarks made by the Prime Minister in public, the man who was on the t r a i n You called our client a killer. And the perpetrator of genocide. And he called. He characterised his statement as deceitful. And following this remark, we asked the trial chamber to take action to condemn the statements made by the prime minister and to ask him to refrain from making further statements in the future. And we were just curious to know when you can expect a decision. ตอนยืนก็มันดังทางเป็นนะได้เลยสำหรับจะบอกอ่อนจมูกจมเรียงยืนคือการสำหรับจะเลือกคนได้จะบอกยืนยืนเตรียมหน่อยลอยเตะโดยใช้ยืนมันตอนดังหน่อยลอยหน่อยลอย
ហើយជាបាល់លោះថាអង្គយំរះបានកត់សម្គាល់នៅមតិយោបល់របស់ <cười> hơi dương của mình ăn nhạt ở lượng bánh hà này to tới tiết là biếp đi đài lời này đo bê xong là mồm nâng chụp thầm ra thầm ra ngày này hơi để xa cách bằng bánh nông ca đồng đại ca xa mạng ca bàn lươn bàn môn bê cầm nọt hẹn được chân này ông dùm ra và cả phá ạ cách đồng đại ca xa mạng 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 ca lực từ bản to thứ nơi ngày chăn tìm ở phía bấy khai mẹ gà ra cho nằm bí bọn đọc bí đòi chạp đàm bí mong bằng bốn bực nghe đối chân này hợp hiệu kỳ nâng xa thiên ạ chôn chế riêng ảnh nổ rẹp một tí khung kháng ai nôm chôn chọp chào tiền bày rụp tạo lập tự căn một tí khung kháng vĩnh hay bằng góp ai nôm chôn chọp chào tiền bày nẹ một căn bản tốc sạm nà ca ní nơi bất ngày chăn tìm ở phía bấy khai mẹ cà ra cho năm bì bọn đọc bí ở bàn môn màu bằng buồn bực 